I've had many contemplations on why we're leaving Albany so soon, uh, and uh, you know why Denver now. I'm 40, going to be 45 in May, um, and we. I had a call to church planning at 25, so I, I never could understand it till that night when the Lord said you had to go to uh, Detroit and Denver. I mean Detroit and Albany before I could send you to uh, Denver. Uh, and I think I understand it more now because of context. Everything I feel like that we have done up to this point has prepared us to go to a city like that. And, uh, you know, when we talk about urban, and I'll let it get back to Lynette in a second, but, you know, as I was praying, and, and I'm going to be a little spiritual here, but, um, you know, Paul, uh, he, he went to the cities. And that's where he went. If you read scripture, if you read Acts, he went to the cities. He went to these epicenters of these areas, and that's where he did a majority of his preaching. He didn't go to the small areas. If you look at the other disciples, they went to Bethlehem. And I've been to, you know, around Bethlehem. It's not real big. Paul went into the big Greek cities, and he was called to the barbarians. And some people may not know, real quick lesson, barbarian does not mean they're bloodthirsty, people trying to kill people. It, as I learned in Greek at Lee, it's barbar. Their language is so uh, unrecognizable because they didn't understand Greek. So they were uneducated to the Greek culture. So Paul said he first went to the Jew, but the Jews, you know, as you know, they kind of rejected a lot of what he said, even though he was, you know, had all these things going on and knew what he was talking about. He went to the Gentile. Now the word Gentile means to all nations. So when we say urban missionaries, if you want to look it up, go read the book of Acts. He went to urban centers. That's where it that's where he was at in the urban uh, centers of everything. So uh, that's that's one of the biblical desires for this this move. And and I I think that it just makes sense to go where the people are. And as you know, Denver. We, I think we've said it before. Um, Denver is a very liberal city. It's it's yeah, full of it liberalism is. and sin and all those things. And so why not go where? people need God and they need a life transformational uh, a transformational experience with God and so that's what we're really praying for um, I, I feel like some of our friends think that like church planning is so scary yeah, and they do intimidating but it's actually less because you don't have a lot of overhead you don't have any overhead and so you just start out really really small and it's okay you build it naturally we use the word organically um, and so I just kind of wanted to do a video where we explained what we meant by urban missionaries and urban church plant. And, um, and I think that there's just a really a need to get to the people. And if that's where the people are, then, you know, then why not go there? You know, the Bible says that we're to go to Samaria, wait, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Is that yes. right? Did I say it in order? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Judea, Judea Samaria. Samaria. Parts of the so, you know, I think that I'm not negating rural churches. No, not means. at all. We they, They're needed, too. You know, and so I think we're all called to different things, and I think we're just really feeling the call to to do an urban church plant. I, and, I, want, I want to say this in the process, too, in context of what we're doing. If we're not going to have land and all this, why do we need to raise money? Uh, one thing you may not know about Denver, it's very expensive. It's, so we're going to keep, even when we get there, we're going to continue to raise money until we reach the goal that I believe God set for me to have uh, a daily to get this together. Uh, we're asking each church or individual, and I'm saying this in here, Lynette may take it out, but um, we, we're looking for each church or individual to give us $25 a week. That's $100 a, a month for 12 months. We're not asking for any more than 12 months. Uh, I believe God's going to take care of it. And there's a, if there is a time when you know, we raise enough money, I will I will call you up and say, uh, we, we are self-sufficient because uh, we're not here just to get your money to do what we need to do. I'm getting a job. Uh, I'm working currently on this iPad right here to sell real estate. So uh, be praying for that. Uh, but we really, really are feeling called to this urban mission. And we know that you can help us. God is calling some of you right now as you watch this. You're wondering if you should help us. And I'm telling you right now that God has already told me he's going to provide that money. I have no worries about it. I think I said I was worried several times before. But after being by this lake behind me, relaxing in this trailer, I'm getting cool. And if you want to give, we have a PayPal set up just for Denver. Um, the name of our church is Sozo Church, if you haven't heard us say that already. Um, look, 
there have been individuals who don't go to Church of God and they say, you know, somebody's asked me, can, you know, can I help? Listen, we're not just raising money with the Church of God. We're raising money with friends, family. If you're my family members and you're wondering, can I help? Yeah, you can. Whatever you can give. If you can't give $100 a month, by the way, and you can give $20, $25 for the whole month, it's okay. Do that because we need help. Every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. So we're raising this money again to do the church plan. So uh, again, I want to say thank you beforehand because I know that God's touching hearts right now for your help. We really appreciate it. And we know that your sacrifice of finances is going to make a difference in people's lives. So thank you so much. And I'll go ahead and leave all the information at the bottom of the screen or here on the screen again. And so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We'd love to talk to you more about it. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and thanks for your support and thanks for your prayer. All right, y'all. Bye.